Perfection. Uh, I'd just like to say uh, I uploaded this video and they banned all the clips, so I've had to re alter everything, so I just thought I'd let you know. So enjoy the video. Thank you. Hello and welcome to another episode of Could It Come Back? And this week we're going to be covering the tripods, a 1984-1985 uh, BBC production in conjunction uh, with an Australian production company and uh, using their money as well. And then Michael Gred became in charge at BBC, fucked it all up and cancelled it when we were moving into the third season. So now you're asking, how could this come back? Now, we can't obviously continue the series on because it was cancelled. Now, there was a lot of alterations in, in this series. Now, the first book, The Tripods, was the series was more or less identical. Then we got to season two, The City of Golden Lead. Uh, we get all the answers, and uh, we get to see who owns the tripods, who's behind it all, and... And that's a bit of a disappointment because they went and fucking cancelled it. So anyway, I was at the edge of my seat in season two. Right, there is a few mess ups. Now the difference is, is that the Cognosks, uh, the energy beings that lived in the city of Golden Lead, uh, they were like evolved masters. Uh, they didn't really care about anything. Uh, Will goes in there, he infiltrates the city. And he speaks to a Cognos, and the Cognos thinks, I'm going to fuck off out into the universe, and good luck on you in destroying the Tripods. Because Will finds out there's a big spaceship coming to wipe out humanity, put what's left in the zoo for their entertainment. And basically, that's the Tripods. That is what it's all about. Now, you are asking, how is it going to come back? Then we, we would have got season three. The pool of fire where mankind takes the planet back, goes in, destroys the masters, big battle and all that. That is how it should have finished. But there was a fourth book when the tripods came. Now, when you put the four books together, this is quite an awesome story. It's heavy, dark actually. Because in the first season it's like a boy's adventure. You know, out their journey to the White Mountains to find the three men. And then we get season two, and obviously we find out the whole agenda, and then season three. Now, this is where you start it. You bring in the first book, the prequel, when the tripods came. It's set round a family in, somewhere in Europe or Britain. And what's going on is uh, some tripods appear in Britain somewhere and they start attacking uh, places and the Air Force take it out uh, the throwing tanks about uh, so like missiles and aeroplanes go in and attack them and destroy the tripods nothing's heard of it again so for a couple of episodes you focus on this family and this TV series starts, Mr. Trippier, so I haven't read the book in a long time, but this TV series starts, and the tripod mothership is behind the moon, and they they tap into our satellite network and start beaming uh, hypnotism, like, like a mind thing through the, our TVs and computers or whatever. And people at home, the behaviour starts changing. People start constructing these helmets and they put them on the head, Basically, it's the cap that controls mankind. They create these more primitive ones, like bulk it out of household electrics and that. They programmed them to do it. And then people start rising up in the millions, all with these helmets on. And obviously, the military and the governments of the world start fighting back. But who's been took over? And it's all about this family 
So it does like it's quite depressing because in the first book they take over the world. Millions get millions died. Because you say in season one when Will and Henry and Beanpole are in Paris and they find uh, they're in the underground, they find weapons that were people holding up against the tribe, uh, the controlled humans. Because it answered in that moment, it were like, oh, well, how, oh, well, there was a war going on. Now, there is a nuclear strike by a submarine somewhere. It wipes out a city to destroy the tripod because they must start landing. Uh, but the tripod's destroyed because the submarine gives its location away. Well, this family, they uh, do a runner with a load of other people. So the Alps to a skiing lodge and there's caves up there. And because it's winter, they get cut off. And that is where the hope is. That is the beginning of the three men. You, you know, well, the world is being simulated by the tripods. Now, obviously, we can't continue from the 80s series. This has to be redone. But we start with the first book, and I've just gone over the first book. I enjoyed reading the first book. And like the second season would be tripods. You remember that beginning uh, when it started first time on BBC? You saw that, it, it said 2089. And then you saw horse and cart and it thought but we're in the future what's going on do you remember that moment i mean what's fascinating about this series it starts off dark about how they take over the world and 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 people rising up against each other all being brainwashed and mind controlled and some people escape to the mountains and it's all about a family living in terror because your neighbors could be taken over you know by the tripods when they're in, you know, they're beaming the signal through. That alone is a fantastic opener. And then you jump a hundred years to the future. So it's like boys adventure, three of them together that roam across Europe to get to the, the resistance. And then season three is obviously in the city. Now, now the book and the BBC, the BBC added the whole Cognos thing with the alien entities that are above the masters that are nearly omnipotent, you know, and, and one of them wants to leave will use his humanity. And this Cognos said, look, if you don't act, I'm off. If you don't act, they're going to wipe your race out. And because the Cognos, all he'd ever met were capped humans that made, you know, the cap makes you serve out but the cognos said that like finally it got to see a human being with spirit and hope and that's what's great because there's like this oppressive regime going on outside where they've dumbed down the human race and and there's this small resistance now book three when he gets out of the city of golden lead obviously it goes into how they infiltrate one of the cities the form resistances all across the world with other resistance groups and build a network and start using technology and everything, you know, uh, to fight back. You see, uh, the beauty of tripods in the first season, you didn't know what they were. I mean, I'd never read the books when I first saw tripods, so I always wondered, were the aliens or was it humans or were the robots? Something we created that had turned on us. Now, in this, like, even with the prequel book, when came the tripods, the, you could keep the masters in the background. You don't bring them in till the third season. And and it's all mind control. You could see some control panels or the ship or whatever, but you don't see them. So when the tripods turn up on Earth for the first time, get defeated, it, it's like, who oh, are these creatures? What is going on? We don't know. And then we jump a hundred years. And and when like Will and Beanpaul and Henry is they destroy a tripod, they see something move and I were like, what we're moving inside the tripod. But the potential to bring this back at a big budget level with decent writing. Now I don't know what the BBC did. Now a lot of people complain about season two with a blue parrot bar, don't get me started. Uh, I'm not making it up. There were some bad moments about the uh, inside the city, but you make the city like a place full of slaves. You know, they win this honour to go to this place. It's 
to serve these gods and they're malevolent and you bring Will in with his relationship with the master and all that but what we do is is like you drive the characters like in the third book Henry becomes a resistance fighter he's just out to destroy him and he dies in the pool of fire he sacrifices himself to blow the dome on the city to let the atmosphere in but I mean there's so much going on here and this is about the survival of the human race now Netflix or Amazon should be making this series you know you're talking a multi-million pound franchise here Tripods could be the next big thing because it's got that dark post-apocalyptic element in there and this truly deserves to come back. But when you start looking at this, this we used to get this at half past five on a Saturday. This was like a family or kids show. Do you know what I mean? And there's, I'm, I'm, I'm 54 now and there's people even now still watching this because it holds up today. But the potential, even the opening intro were creepy. You know what I mean? It, it, it had all the elements. Everything is it. The, the universe is set up for this. You know. And obviously the probably might make them darker or do something different with the aliens. I, I'd, I'd really dumb down the human race in this. You know, it, it, like they're really docile and they're going to get caps and... Uh, you, you go into games to win your privileged place to serve in this city of these squid-like creatures that feel threatened by us. You know, and the, the cap, it takes your creativity away and all that. And no wonder human race is on the brink of extinction because there's a big ship coming. It's going to wipe us all out. And they're going to colonise. And basically, this is what it's about. But it's how the tripods went about this, how they did it through like the background you know mind control and all this but they're scared of us because they did they didn't want us going to the stars because they feared us and you've got to really play on all this john christopher was a genius when he wrote this but today you could make this into something much bigger so guys this is how i think tripod should come back so please give this video a like please subscribe uh, let me know your thoughts on this and I will speak to you soon and live long and prosper. And Michael Grade, you're a twat and you shouldn't have cancelled tripods. You shouldn't have done it, mate. You, you pissed a lot of us off, you really did. Thank you for ruining one of the all-time classics of all time.